Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be listening to Crips Remnants of Expansion on Dark Descent Records. I threw the A-side on. Such a fucking killer finish, death, doom, whatever. With artwork from uh, the dude that does Watain stuff. Fucking killer. It's called The Hanged Man's Hand. Uh, it's um, a mystical, like, talesman type item. Great fucking artwork, great record, super cavernous, awesome death metal the way I fucking like it. Hell yeah. Awesome lyric sheet. And just some grim fucking, like, who's in the band and whatnot. Really hard to read and awesome. Yeah, Dark Descent Records is seriously one of my favorite fucking record labels, if you haven't noticed. Um, yeah, pretty much everything they have is fucking gold. Like, even like their distro, like you'll find stuff that like you won't find anywhere else. Like, um, just tr trust me on this. Like. I have the Spectral Voice, Necrotic Doom, 12 inch coming in, and the new Corpsest album on Dark Descent. They just, I don't know, I feel like all my awesome death metal is from fucking, ah! Sorry about this little electronical problem. I decided to try this with the light on the floor, but yeah, this album is seriously so fucking good. And just dark, heavy, and everything I want out of an album like this. But let's get to the elephant in the room. President Donald fucking Trump. Seriously, fuck you. You're not even in office for a full day and you pretty much said fuck you to the middle class and yeah. And what I have to say to you is, fuck you back. I fucking despise you as a human being. You are just the scum of the fucking earth. The fact that you are in charge of my country makes me fucking sick. Like, seriously, like... This dude's gonna get, you know, impeached, hopefully, or fuck up even more, because he already has this country divided to where it's scary. Like, a civil war? Like, I know that sounds out there. Like, the way shit's going, it's not going good. Like, already. And this dude hasn't even been in office for a week. And it's a shit show. It's a literal shit show. Like, getting rid of, like, you know, the fucking environmental section of the White House website and pretty much saying global warming is bullshit and then getting rid of, um, I think it was the whole, uh, L, uh, I can't, you know, the lesbian, gay, transgender community site as well, I heard was taken down and there's rumors about, you know, people's freedoms being taken away from them and that's not good, like, at all and any, like, I mean, I'm, I'm a straight male, but can you imagine, like, going through years and years of bullshit and finally it's like, you know, completely socially acceptable, it's cool, everybody's fine with it, and then you get this asshole that looks like a dead pigeon fell on his head telling you how to live his life, like... Uh, there's not a picture of Rocky Dennis on this VHS copy of Mask, but if fucking, you know, Donald Trump would probably make fun of this dude, like Rocky Dennis. Like, I was just going to say their haircut kind of looks the same, but they just have the same hair color. But it's a fucking bummer, and even Cher was against Trump on this one. I read it in the paper today before I threw it out after reading one of their Christian fucking columnists 
wrote some very, very hateful stuff about, um, pretty much just people that, you know, have different sexual orientations. Who cares? Like, if, if you're a girl and you like other girls, that's your thing. Who the fuck gives a shit? It's not my life. I don't care. Like, if you like dudes, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I, I, I love vagina, it's awesome. I mean, but whatever, if that's not your thing, that's not your thing. I don't hold that against anyone. Like, hell, if you're, if you don't even, if you want to just stay celibate, that's cool. Like, but you have this dude who doesn't know any, you know, anyone personally outside of his rich, old, white, racist circle, pretty much, because everyone in Hollywood seems to not want to get near this guy with a fucking flagpole. So, um... Like, he's still on Twitter talking shit now on Arnold Schwarzenegger because Schwarzenegger's ratings on his take on Donald Trump's The Apprentice weren't that high. What? You're seriously the President of the United States of America, but you're concerned about how Arnold Schwarzenegger is running your reality television show? D dude, you're in charge of America, okay? Not... What the fuck is going on? Like, I feel like I'm in a movie or some shit, like... And the thing is, like, I've yet to even hear anyone who back a couple months ago was all like, I'm not voting for Hillary, fuck having a woman in office. I was all for Bernie Sanders, but when Hillary threw him under the bus, she still had my vote, she has the experience. Yeah, she's a savage, but that's what, like, you know, you kind of want. Like, she put up with Bill getting a blowjob from, Malin like, you know, Monica Lewinsky, like... I mean... I don't know, I never really liked Hillary Clinton, even when, like, she was with Bill, like... And when Bill was in charge, like, yeah, the country was great, everybody was fucking happy, you know, but... It was the shit behind the scenes that got fucked up with, like, the Taliban and all that but you know that that's politics and that's life and we're gonna have to deal with this bullshit for the next four years or like I said until he gets impeached or whatever like or there's gonna be a civil war and that's not I don't, I don't want that shit war is no good it's seriously it's it's don't get me wrong as much as I love like death metal and all that shit like the actual reality of war is not cool at all, whatsoever. And it's the same thing, like, I love George R. George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones, uh, but it's pretty much anti-war, and if you think otherwise, then you're just watching the HBO show and not reading between the lines that war, feudalism, all that shit, <laughs> bad news. And seeing our democracy in the hands of this lunatic scares me, legitimately. And I wanted to talk about music, and I know I'm nine minutes in, and I've yet to really talk about anything besides how good this Crips record is. But what if we have another, like, uh, Tipper Gore situation? I think that's who it was. Or, uh... George eight uh, Barbara Bush with the whole and I forget who wanted to start putting the parental advisory it might have been Nancy Reagan uh, again I'm sorry I was born in 1985 so some of that shit you know I don't remember from high school and they didn't really go over and I read a book called lies my uh, lies my high school teacher told me I think it was called or lies my teacher told me but um yeah it's just fucking bullshit like, I'm bummed. I mean, a lot of the world's bummed, and a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, get over it, but, like, what if, like, seriously, this prick starts censoring, like, our music? 
Like, especially in the punk rock community, where I'm sure there's gonna be a fuckload of killer albums written about their hatred of this administration. Same thing goes for power violence, hardcore, grind. Anything with, like, a political type, you know, background in extreme music is going to probably have some killer fucking shit come out, and that's awesome. That's the only good thing that comes out of a shit administration. But the scary stuff is all the other stuff. Like, just war, the fact that there is no more middle class, it's done. Like, it's a bummer, man. Like, I probably, like, if I was to try and get a, like, a mortgage and stuff situated, it wouldn't happen at this point. My new health insurance, it's insane. It is fucking insane. And the reason I got it, it was, it's because I was told that, yeah, Trump's gonna get rid of Obamacare, so, you, you know, you better be prepared. So, I went and I, and I, I tried to get prepared, and now I have a $2,500 fucking deductible. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of in some, in some, in some, like, financial trouble here, like, in the realm of, like, reality, like, real life, the future, not now, I'm talking a couple years from now, or, let's say I came across some money, but my credit kind of sucks, because I owe some hospitals some money, like, I ride BMX, you get hurt, you know, you get stitches, you don't pay the hospital. I mean, I've done that for years. But it's coming back to bite me in the ass. And it sucks. Because, like, especially with this prick in charge, like, I don't know what to do, man. And I, if you're in another country right now watching this, seriously, I'm jealous. I'm not saying, you know, it's only been... Like I said, it's not even been two full days, and it's already fucking a shit show. I would never, you know, shit talk Amer I love America. Like, I really do. But we have some back-ass words thinking. With the majority of our population, and it is a bummer, but there's nothing you can fucking do about it. So, you just gotta take it, not love it, just take it. Just, just, you know, brush it off your fucking shoulders and just say, fuck you. If they, if somebody has a different opinion than you, especially if it's political, just try to just, you know, kindly say, I don't think this is the time and place for this conversation because it's, it really, it, it's bad. Like, you don't want to lose friends over some bullshit with Donald fucking Trump. All I'm saying is I'm, I'm actually concerned about, you know, the censoring, you know, and him trying to appease right-wing uh, right Christians, like, who knows about, like, touring bands from Europe. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, I would never even thought of, like, oh, like, you know, some of these dudes have some kind of, like, you know, they have criminal, like, records and stuff in their countries, but some of them still can get over here, but some have problems. Like, you know, they can't get into the country because, you know, they have, like, a church arson charge or something. Like, seriously, I mean, stuff like that happens. I mean, Dise I mean, John from Dissection, after he got out of jail, really thought he could get a Dissection show in New York City. Like, dude... <laughs> you fucking murdered somebody. Like, we're not, they're not gonna let you into this country. But I'm, like, worried about, like, you know, touring bands. Because who knows, like, what bands are gonna be let into this country now. And how this whole country is gonna be run. Like, I really hope Donald Trump just, you know, vanishes, quits. Just says, you know what, this is too much. Everybody hates me, fuck this, I'm out. But, I just needed the rant. It was bothering me. I'm sorry if you disagree, but anyways, just listen to Crips, listen to some death metal, and forget about the real world for a bit. Anyway, this is Chanel, peace.